What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Flight Club with future NFL star Saquon Barkley. Going to do some sneaker shopping tonight. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yeah, time to step my sneaker game up, so hope you can lead me in the right direction. Let's go. Let's do it. Saquon, you're from Cop Play, born in the Bronx. You were here until you were five, but you spent most of your time there. I Googled sneaker stores in that area. There's not many. <laughs> What's it like to be in New York and see a sneaker store like Flight Club? Yeah, it's definitely, definitely different than Copley. Uh, Copley's not huge and definitely not as big as New York City, but coming here, you know, growing up, I wasn't really that big into shoes, but definitely now, trying to definitely uh, improve my shoe game and be able to see all these shoes and iconic shoes that yeah. you know you've seen Jordan and LeBron and all those guys wear. And like you said, Copley's a small place and uh, I look forward to give back to that community and maybe uh, put a shoe stop there and uh, make, it, make it well known. We mentioned the sneaker stores in New York City, but you know, we also have great restaurants. There's always something to do. As a Giants fan, it wouldn't be the worst <laughs> if you end up in New York City. You know, I was born here. Uh, this is kind of be coming back home, but New York Giants, New York Jets, Cleveland Browns, so on and so on and so on. Any team that drafts me, you know, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be appreciative because that's my dream coming true. I've been wanting to play ball in the NFL since I was a little kid. So you mentioned LeBron. A couple weeks ago, you got to meet him. Yeah. What was it like meeting him? Was it the first time you met him? Yeah, it was the first time I ever met LeBron. And you know, I, I thought it would be a little more, a little more starstruck, a little more nervous, but just, I guess, because of the, the position I've been able to and the people I was able to meet, uh, kind of braced myself for, for that opportunity. Yeah. And uh, me and him was awesome. You know, all the incredible things that he'd done on the field and off the field. And, uh, you know, he was able, I was able to get some of his shoes. Um, the 15. The 15. I love these. I got sent Dion's. Oh, the, uh, Dion's. the LeBron watch Dion's. Yeah, I kind of like a red, black, and white colorway. But, you know, he said, whatever team you go to, wish you the best of luck. And um, just being able to hear that from such a legend definitely was a blessing and an honor, truly honor. You're recently out of college. I remember my college years, my sneaker budget was much smaller than it is now. And your sneaker budget next week's probably gonna be a lot more than it was in college. Do you remember any shoes you couldn't get that you really wanted? Yeah, definitely would be the Concourse, uh, especially the low top version. Growing up, I wasn't really big into shoes and big into Jordans or any kind of fancy shoe, I guess you could say, but I've always had to pick one shoe, it would definitely be the Concourse. And uh, now that I have a little more, more money coming my way, uh, this is a shoe that I hope to, hope to get soon. Everyone talks about their first big splurge. Do you have anything in mind of when you sign your deal yet? Yeah, uh, that's easy. Um, the first big thing I'ma buy is my mama house. Awesome. Um, you know, my parents are everything to me and all the sacrifices they made. I wouldn't be the man I am today without those two, without my mom and my father. So I'm definitely gonna buy those two a house that they can call home and not have to worry about anything. Another thing I gotta ask about, and Instagram pops up, you're with Jay-Z and you signed to Rock Nation. We've had Todd Gurley, we've had Des Bryant, other Rock Nation signees. What was it like meeting him and talking to Jay? Yeah, uh, meeting Jay-Z was one of the coolest moments of my life. Uh, I was able to go to his house and his house is, is amazing. I bet. I remember I was with my family, I was walking down the drive through and Jay-Z was standing there and we were like, wow, that's actually Jay-Z. But he's had a lot of great things uh, to say and a lot of wisdom to give off. You know, that he's been in the industry so long and been very successful outside of rap. And that's a guy you kind of want to model yourself after. Jay-Z and the Rock Nation family just have been so awesome to me. And like, the reason why I picked them is kind of the same as why I picked Penn State. The resources, um, it's not only about football. Uh, it's the things that they can create for you outside of football. You know, obviously endorsements, um, meeting people, uh, just putting your name in the right places. And, you know, like I said, you're not just a football player now, you're a businessman, so you gotta look at it both ways. Definitely. Now, the Instagram photo itself, I noticed he's not even wearing sneakers. <laughs> Did that come up at all, or it's just Jay Z and it, it doesn't matter? Like I said, we was, he, was, he was home. Yeah. You know, he was kicking back in his house. Uh, before we got there, I'm pretty sure he was in his living room. You know, we, we took a picture uh, to announce that I was committed to Rock Nation and I was signed with Rock Nation. And we didn't even think about the shoes, but you know, a lot of people look, comment on it. Yeah. But it was a great, it was a great picture and a picture that I'm, I'm looking forward to showing my kids one day. Your 21st birthday, you announced you're signed to Nike. You know, we're in front of the Griffies, we're in front of the Bo Jacksons. What's it like to be in that legacy of athlete? That's something you think about as a little kid. Uh, obviously playing in the NFL and signing with Nike and hopefully one day getting your own shoe. And this right here, Bo Jackson, um, this shoe means a lot to me as a running back and just as a player because if you really think about it in football world, not many guys have 
really broke out in the shoe industry. And his shoes is still popular to this day. Obviously, OBJ came out with a shoe, sold out and stuff like that. So you kind of, like, he's such an icon and the, the way he changed the game for football, I mean, just something you kind of want to follow his footsteps. And uh, hopefully I can have success in the NFL and uh, be able to come out with one of my shoes one day. Absolutely. Now, draft night, is there anything that you guys are cooking up special that you're going to be wearing on your feet? Yeah, draft night uh, is going to be a special night uh, out there in Dallas. Um, you only get that night once. And uh, Nike and Ben Kirshner, uh, a shoe designer, we're working on a little shoe uh, for me to wear uh, with my suit. Uh, something different, try something new. Hopefully get people talking about it and uh, have, have like my name on it with a Nike a Nike symbol. Uh, like All I right. said, you, you dream about it as a kid and I'm only 21 and yeah. haven't even touched the field. Uh, haven't even touched the field to play football yet uh, in the NFL, but so many things are coming my way and I'm so thankful and so honored and uh, truly blessed. So we should be on the lookout of a special shoe that no one's seen before. Little twist on it. Yeah, little twist, little twist. Other thing I want to ask, you're about to have a baby soon. Yeah. You know, we're in a shoe store with tons of sneakers. Maybe you pick up a little infant shoe? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to, uh, definitely. Obviously, uh, the, the gender of my baby is undecided yet. Yeah, we're going to find out when birth. Uh, that's something me and my girlfriend decided to do. But uh, we're going to start him off, start him or her, mm -hmm. sorry, him or her off young uh, with the shoe game. And hopefully one day we can walk around matching. And I think, you know, as a father, that's something you look forward to. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Get the browser shelves, pick up some sneakers. That's it. I take the Concords in a size 14. I take the 12s in a size 14. Uh, let me get the cards in a uh, size 14. Got you, bro. The undefeated 97s. Got you. That's a good pickup, too. They look fire. The acronyms in a size 14. This is different right here, bro. Different. And let me get uh, these right here, the 10. Gosh, you can't forget the kid, bro. Yeah. So your total is 31.46.50. Thank you. Have a great day. So, Saquon came through, leaving with a bunch of new sneakers. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you guys for having me. Good luck this season. We'll be watching. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. Be sure to check out our brand new series, Talking Shop, to see exclusive bonus content from the Liam Payne shoot. If you're a fan of sneaker shopping, you'll be a fan of Talking Shop. Click here and subscribe now.